everyone. For today's warm-up, we're going to be crossing the midline. So going from one side of your body to the other. Start by placing a finger on your nose and the other side. Have a little practice of that. And once you've got the hang of it, let's swap. So take a hand to your opposite ear and swap and swap swap and swap. Then let's combine the two. So one finger on your nose, other hand on your ear. And swap. And swap. See how many you can do. In this video, we are learning to efficiently write a capital V, W and J. You'll know you're successful if your letters are the same size, shape, they use good slope, have even spaces, and follow the directions given in the video. Today as our warm up, we're going to be doing the plus sign. Plus sign doesn't have any slope. It's a vertical line and a horizontal line to cross over. Remember that we always start with our vertical lines first and we always go from top to bottom, from left to right. So it's almost like a letter T, but we're aiming to make each of the lines the same length. Whereas as you know, a letter T would be tall with a short line. Make sure that your plus signs are equal in size. Keep going to the end of the line. Now W and V are both the same in that their capital letter versions are quite pointy and their lowercase versions are rounded. So let's think about the letter W. I'm going to do the lowercase first and we'll remember that at the bottom of that letter, this part here is round. When I turn it into a capital W, as for all our capitals, it's a tall letter, so it's starting at the very top. It goes down. Your pencil does not lift. It comes straight back up to the top line. Back down again, back up again. And the big difference there is the bottom of your W is pointed. It's the same with your letter V. Our V's in lowercase were pointy, but still quite round at the bottom compared to what your capital V is going to look like with a sharp point. Let's begin with a row of V's. We're going to start with our capital, straight down, straight up, making sure it's nice and pointy at the bottom there. And then your lowercase v, your pencil will go the same way, it's just a little less of a point. Capital, straight down and up, lowercase, little curve. Keep going to the end of the line.
Remember to pause the video if you need so that you're ready to go onto the letter W with me. So W is two V's. I never really am sure why it's not called double V, but it is what it is. Straight down, right up, back down, back up. Now you might notice that lots of grown-ups do their capital V's just with a short little arrow in the middle and that's how I prefer to do it. And when you are in about year five and six, or if you're watching this video and you're in year five and six, you can choose any style that you like. But when we're in years, or well, kindergarten to year four, we all learn the same foundation handwriting at every school in New South Wales. And here we learn that capital V comes right to the top. A lowercase v to curvy bottoms. Capital, down, right, up, down, right, up, and lowercase, curvy bottoms. Funny because it almost looks like a picture of a curvy bottom. There's a funny way of remembering it for you. Keep going to the end of the line. To add one more letter to our practice today, we're going to begin with the letter J. We know that lowercase j begins on the dotted lines at the top there and is a tail letter. So it scoops down and touches that bottom line. We come back up to finish with a dot hovering in the middle of our top two lines. A capital J, your pencil will go exactly the same way beginning on the top solid line. We go down, curve around, this time going to the bottom dotted line, and of course, no dot. Okay, let's get going with our capital J, starting on the top solid line, down, scoop, and you're done. Lowercase, same shape again for your pencil, just further down on the line. A nice easy one to finish our letter practice. Now's a good time to think about your spacing. Do you have the same space between each of your letters? Do you have the same space between each pair of letters? So by that I mean, is the space here consistent? And is the space from here to here consistent? With that in mind, keep going to the end of the line. When you're ready, we're going to move on to some proper nouns to practice those capital letters. Let's begin with the state of Victoria. So we're going to begin with a capital V. Onto your lowercase i. C. T. O. R. I, A. Try it again two more times.
Once you've finished that row, we're going to write the word Windsor a little bit closer to home this time. Capital W, right up, down and up. The letter I, straight down on a slope, then your dot, N, D, right up, back down. Remember we don't lift our pencil at all for the letter D. S, starting at the top and down, O, R. And then same again, two more times. Now I've run out of room on my page, but here's a challenge for you. You still have the letter J to practice in a word. So see if you can think of a proper noun. Proper nouns we know are the names of people or places. See if you can think of a place name or a person's name that starts with the letter J so you can practice your capital J's in a word as well. So when we're looking at your work, we will be looking to see that you have three rows of letter pairs and three rows of words. Pause the video, have a think and a practice now. Once you've finished your seven lines of handwriting, you know that you'll grab a different colored pencil and you'll go back to see which of the words are your favourite, which you think you've done the best job on. Now I'm having a look at my Victorias and Windsors, and I feel like the spacing in some of my Windsor words is a bit big, but I'm quite happy with this Victoria over here, and even that whole Victoria line, so I could do a tick at the end. Um, maybe some of my Ws are a little wobbly, which is appropriate considering. But I do like this V pair over there. Good, and I was quite happy with my J's. I like the slope on this one here, so I'll give those a tick. Do the same for yours. Give a tick to the ones you think are your best today. Thanks for your handwriting today. Remember to get in touch if you have any questions. Ask your teacher if you need some help straight away or see me at school if you have any suggestions. For today's guided drawing, we're going to be doing a portrait of Wayne the Walrus. So here's a nice photograph of him. You can take a good look before I just pop him off to the side there. Get your pencil ready and make sure you leave lots of space, especially a couple of lines on top of where you begin. We're going to start with a capital W. So straight down and up, down and up, and those will make Wayne's tusks. Next, I want you to draw some of those, like this section here, some of these big cheeks or whiskers, I'm not sure exactly what you would call them, um, but we're just going to do a big line over the top. And then halfway through, that line we will do his nose you can do two if you like but I've just done one there Wayne's going to need a head so from the top of those tusks I'm just going to keep going on one two and I've sort of joined them up in a bit of a heart shape he'll need some eyes there we go and perhaps a few extra whiskers, however you like. And there you have Wayne the Walrus.